Hey guys and girls, welcome back to some Disguise 6. The main game is here. Uh, we're gonna jump into the next stage of the human world. Borg Borgois uh, Aqueducts. Let's do it. <laughs> Cornered you now, Mr. Experience Boost. You fiend! Alright, I've got no choice! I'll show you my true power! Hmm. Seems the hero's finally taking this seriously. Is that in the group was surrounded by demons? Who are these people? They're just some powerful demons I hired with the pocket money you gave me, your majesty. And you're saying that this is your true power? You're darn right! I will do whatever's necessary. Oh, hero, your model. Alright, so I'm gonna let Auto Battle run. We're just gonna have, have our dudes wreck. Oh, I ain't giving up! Did it. <laughs> it's mine, all mine. The mustache's castle and money, and all of your experience, too. Yeesh, you're definitely the villain here. Oh, you definitely must be seems such a like kind it. zombie. You couldn't even hurt a fly. Damn it! I won't let you take any of my stuff! The castle, the money, they're all mine! No, no! Those things are mine! Your Majesty! Please don't abandon me! There's no way I could go on living without your support! Forgive me, your mother. I have decided to go on an adventure with Zed and become a hero myself. What? Your Majesty a hero? What sort of idiotic nonsense is this? I have money, fame, status, territory, authority, and even enviable facial hair. And it's all thanks to money. However, the power of money is not the power I truly desire. I... I wish to become strong. To become a hero. Like you once were. I don't care what you want. I need you, your majesty. I need you to take care of me for the rest of my life. Was this guy really a hero? When I first met him, your Mata was most certainly a hero beyond compare. I truly admired his dignified demeanor and strength from the bottom of my heart. But now... No, 
no, no, no, no! I don't want to be a hero anymore! I just want my allowance! Please! Pretty please! A hero clouded by grief. Uh, gr <laughs> and grief. Greed. And it was all because I forced him to fight the god of destruction. Oh, the tragedy of it all! <laughs> if a few losses was all it took to break his will, he was just weak to begin with. Hey, we got item world. Okay. Um, this is the quest shop. Do we have any quests for new jobs? We got some new quests. Mana. No. I'm counting on you. Alright, what I'm gonna do real fast too is raise the enemy difficulty. Because you can rebalance the netherworld here. Uh, I think we're gonna probably need it. Skip innocent towns. See you again. That's for item world, I guess. Which I should do some item world eventually, but uh, we want to kind of push story more. Follow me, please. All right, open market. Let's go. Hmm. I sense a sudden surge in magic power. The god of destruction is about to appear. That's what I'm talking about. Bring it on! <laughs> to think that I would end up fighting the God of Destruction myself! I never even dreamed of this! Y your Majesty! You can't fight the God of Destruction! What about your royal duty to take care of me? I am your king no more. From now on, I am a hero in the making. I'm bidding farewell to a life of relying on money. Now is the time to rely on my courage and fight! Oh, there he is. Finally showed up, huh? I'll put an end to it for sure this time. This is the God of Destruction? No way. Not a chance. It's impossible. There's no way we can defeat this. Looks like we'll need to bribe it. We'll pay the God of Destruction to just go away. Uh, I'll lose everything I love. My home. My cushy life of comfort. If it's really that important to you, then... What are you saying? There's no way we could ever beat the strongest, even I, the once legendary hero, fought it a hundred... What's your point? If it doesn't work the first hundred times, that's some big talk for a stupid zombie. It doesn't matter. Hero Yamada, you have no idea how wrong you are. Zed here has died thousands, no, tens of thousands of times so far. And by continuing to do so, he will defeat the God of Destruction. Is that true, Zed? You're lying! It even broke my will! Me, the legendary... I'm not driven by courage. I have to be the one to take it down, damn it! No matter what! I'll be oh the God. God. Yeah. Yeah. What is Zed driven by, I wonder? God of Destruction. Alright. Get him. Oh, that was the end of that I might need to raise difficulty to the max. I'm just getting started. Stop, Zed! If you keep fighting, you'll die! He's right! 
fight. You fought well, but that's enough. It's time to give up. Like hell, I'm gonna give up. If you're not ready to die, then get the hell out of here! Even if I die, I will take down this god of destruction! The god of destruction struck a wicked blow. Zed took 999999999999 damage. It's no use trying to stop him. Zed will keep fighting. Even if his limbs are torn off and his bones shattered. But how? At this rate, he's going to die! Death can't stop Zed. He has a reason to keep fighting. Even if he has to die and die and die some more. Not yet. No matter what, I'll... Followed up with another merciless strike. Zed took another nine 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 nine. I won't give up. I won't. I think he just gave up. Zed. Zed has died. Game over. That was the end of the human world, wasn't it? That's how it ends this time. Well, it wasn't a bad fight, really. Rejoice, Zed. You certainly are getting stronger. Whoa, hang on! So you didn't defeat it after all? But I did succeed in dealing some pretty serious damage to the God of Destruction's pinky toe. Oh. Ah, I see, I see. After all, not many things hurt more than stubbing your pinky toe on a corner of your furniture. Wait, that's not the issue. You said you defeated the God of Destruction, and yet you lost again. Overlord Ivar's words incited angry booing from the crowd towards Zed. Hmm, is that hostility I smell in the air? Seems like they're ready to kill someone. Booing your hearts out just because someone lost once or twice? Seems pretty petty for some so-called netherworld bigwigs. Some nerve, you brazen In that case, tell me this. How do you keep coming back to life? What exactly is super reincarnation? And why is it that you continue to challenge the God of Destruction, no matter how many times it killed you? Huh. If you really want to know, then shut up and listen to the rest of my story. That was the end of episode two. Mizador learned the Eviality Almighty Wallet. Got ED Karma from that. Previously on Disgaea 6, Super Reincarnated Zed and Company found themselves in a brand new world. It was the Genroku era. Under the pretense of tourism, King Mizador set out on a journey to right the world. <laughs> Wealth every day keeps the hardship away. Evil retainers appeared one by one, but their misdeeds did not go unnoticed by the great Mizador. Yeah, back down, back down, I say, you miscreants. Do you not see these golden trees? <laughs> it's cold hard cash, isn't it? Hand it over! Ah, who do you think I am? It isn't supposed to end like this! There's not a cloud in the sky. The wheels of reincarnation never stop. And thus, a new story begins. A new world. We are born into. Ah, just where exactly am I? I can't see anything! Ah, oh, what a pain. Zed, did you not fall in battle to the God of Destruction? Wait, did you drag me with you? C could it be? I is this heaven? Well, you've got some nerve thinking you'd manage to end up there. Yeah, I died. I resurrect no matter what. That's what super reincarnation is. 
duh. Super reincarnation? Precisely. It's a powerful spell that allows someone to live their life over again until they've seen their wish through. It's a system that'll seek out the best avenue and resurrect the contractor, no matter how many times they've died. After someone's been super reincarnated once, they become stuck within the cycle, which is why it's forbidden. <laughs> no way I'd try to get out of this! I'm gonna keep going until I take that god of destruction down! Anyway, just what sort of world did we reincarnate into this time around? Wait, why have I reincarnated with you? Would it be? We're comrades? That's it, isn't it? Right, right? I think it's because I needed my wallet. <laughs> That's really it. Episode 3, Happily Never After. Episode 3. Happily never after. Alright. Oh, we got research. Okay, I'm gonna end that there, guys. Leave a like, subscribe, share with a friend if you guys enjoyed. On the next part, we head into episode three.